Amelie is trying to climb out of her cot already. So today we're going to make the cot into a normal bed by removing the railing. We I also bought some stuff to protect some of the drawers. I didn't buy enough. It, it should be fine. This one is the one that has like liquid and stuff. Amelie, oh you're de demolishing the, the thing there. Oh, oh great. Do you want Daddy to get rid of the fence? Yeah. Yeah? So you can have a normal bed, you can go to bed anytime you want? No. No. You don't want to go to bed anytime you want? No. Do you want to go to bed later? No. Do you want to have a bed like London's bed? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's what I meant. I'm only concerned that she's gonna get up in the middle of the night and come to the living room, that's all. Or that she'll come next to me in the morning at 7 a.m. and give me a huge fright. That will happen, I know it will happen. I'm already complained. I'm, I mean, I'm already... I, I, oh, I need to be prepared for that. I'm preparing myself for that. Amelie, can I talk a minute off? All right, there you go, it's, it's done. She has a new bed. You happy with the new bed? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Now I just need to audit everything that is in here, make sure there's nothing that is, who knows, like liquid or paste that she can spread all over the walls or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why are you eating your new bed? Uh. It's 1 a.m., I'm about to go to bed. Amelia went to bed really easily. She didn't get out of bed, she didn't come outside. I'm hoping this will last until tomorrow morning. I wonder if tomorrow morning she's gonna come to us or if she's just gonna cry asking for us while sitting on her bed. I don't know if she realized yet that, I mean, she knows that she can get out of bed because she'd been jumping in and out because she was so excited. I don't know if she fully realized <laughs> all the benefits of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't come up with a way of getting her reaction because Nothing that I have. Maybe the GoPro. Maybe the GoPro. At about 8.20 a.m. the subject opened the door and came walking towards the living room looking for us. She called and looked and didn't see us and then decided to run to our bedroom. Upon arrival she tripped and that woke us up. As you saw, everything was very successful. She stayed in bed the entire night, only got up in the morning. Yeah, it worked. Tonight she went to sleep even easier because she slept in the car on the way from church here. So I just put her in her bed and that was it. It's 1 a.m. right now and I'm just editing this video and to be honest, every five minutes I look to the corridor to see if she's coming. <laughs> Cause I'm just so afraid that any moment she would just wake up in the middle of the night and walk out of her room. I hope it doesn't happen though. But that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have children, you've done this before, please write a comment telling me how your experience was. I'm really interested to know if it was the same, if it was different, if things change over time. Please do let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you tomorrow with an incredible review of absorbent products such as pads and a giant nappy. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. My favorite comment from by Nathan, it's not really my favorite, but that's okay, I'll, I'll mention it. It's from Jason Barkel when he says, you're saying goodbye to Nathan and I'll be saying hello, to which I replied, lucky you.